it's not just me, amigos. Me amo, King Zavarell, and welcome to yet another episode of The Stanley Parable. Grab the bucket. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. What? Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfect if Stanley clutched the bucket what? tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Okay. But Stanley so. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no. Never mind. Okay. The bucket was wrong. Okay. Stanley took uh, the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, not yet. But, okay. So, one. Yeah, I know that one of the episodes didn't go out because I forgot to. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. But, yeah, so I noticed that um, I actually uh, messed up on audio on one of the videos i forgot to do it do the audio so good said the bucket yeah. now ride the lift all the way to the top there's something up there i need you to do stanley did not question so why or how this bucket zero. was speaking to him it should have alarmed him of course yeah. because buckets can't talk but stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact mm. He was firmly convinced that the Actually, bucket no. had spoken We're just gonna to keep him, going. and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. We're actually going to just do this right here, and you can go find the ending yourself if you wish, because I think that's more the that's the joy of this game, is that you need to kind of do that. Danger everywhere. You need to find all the endings. Like th That's just the premise of this game. So if you are playing this for the first time... No, oh. stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past ah, this point. You're right. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? Oh my god. I suppose that would explain a lot about your <sighs> behavior up to this point. Which, you would, wouldn't if it? If that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about it. Okay. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not oh. addressed quickly and properly. That's true. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Oh! Holy... Jeez, they really went the extra mile. What th is this a bucket? Now then. I'm going to run you through oh some test God. scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the <laughs> thing I'm showing you is a bucket. All right, I'm ready. Simply enough, right? I think this so. This tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay. Okay, let's begin. All right. Item one. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. What? It is a hologram of a bucket, oh my God. not an actual bucket. Oh my god. Item two. Is this a bucket? You Incorrect. Assholes. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Is there a right answer? Item three. Is this a bucket? Correct. Oh. This is a bucket. Bring me something wild. Is this a bucket? Item four. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. <laughs> Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. What? All right. What? Is this a bucket? It's a, it's a tractor again. What? Incorrect. This is a bucket. Huh? Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me oh. see. It should be around here somewhere. I was wondering how long this gag would go. Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here. 
and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both <laughs> clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? It is nothing. Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Just what, you know just what? what I think. I'm too confused to even sort it out. That's good. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. Oh, no. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. What? Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? <laughs> Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship <laughs> apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No! Okay. Here we go. No! Oh. What happened? Is everything gone? Oh. Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? Was everything Every a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. <laughs> oh, God. I had no idea. How could... Except me. <coughs> I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Oh, that's good. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. It's but all a bucket. if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Oh, Who knows okay. what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Okay. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Okay. Oh my god. It's just so damn good. I love this. A good this. bucket. A strong bucket. <laughs> a humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not right. the correct way to the meeting room. So... But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Oh. Telling him that the employee lounge no was simply the place to be. To... And here it oh, was. Oh, you know what? There is. There's a... To be correct? No. Never mind. There's the lift ending. The bucket ending. was wrong. The Stanley lift ending. Stanley the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Some of these endings, I don't think actually have names. No, I just called them. said the bucket. Don't go to the Certain meeting names. room. Go somewhere else. The cargo oh. lift, yes. Whee! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest oh, friend. No. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. Oh. How deeply touching. Oh. Uh oh. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. That's not true. You can't. You literally cannot walk through all of the doors. Ah, Cling. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. How much dialogue did they put just for picking up a bucket? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly it's to his So chair. much this dialogue. Was the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Bam. And here it was. Wow. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Was this no? Never mind. The bucket <coughs> was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left okay. to go back to the... And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance we're section down. and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. No, we're going down the lift. Because I can't remember what's down here. So I want to see what's down here. I'm intrigued. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. What? I knew you'd find what? this place eventually. We care about you, Stanley. What the hell? You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. What? We've come together here because we care about you very much. The broom closet's here. It's this here. bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. Yeah. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Yeah. Classic characters from the first game, like the adventure right, and the broom here. closet. 
because uh, that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, that's true. not this bucket that they've never seen before. That's true. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We, we could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, uh, yes, that's what the fans yes. want. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Adventure line. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who Look knows it. where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now oh. this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Do you away. remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. What? Is it? The, do I have to give up the bucket? I'm, have to, I'm gonna have to give up the bucket, aren't I? You just don't want me to have this bucket anymore. Don't you get it, Stanley? Oh, no. We need to get rid of the bucket. Oh, no. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. What? Oh. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the oh. Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such oh. a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you oh. agree? Oh, no, I don't. I don't. The Bucket's evil. Can you destroyer guess what evil. the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. There's gotta be a way. No. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular no. personality trait. No. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very it's upset not now. now. It's not letting me do it. it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly oh, now, God. the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans. Screw the they fans. Want. Hurry and. It blew up. What the fuck? Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Wrong? I didn't want to get rid of the bucket. It's like the companion cube. Did it just go back to the beginning? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> There's so much All of to his co workers games. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a bucket. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co worker. <laughs> In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. I'm trying to think, like, what else I haven't done yet. Stanley touched the bucket tightly to his chest. I haven't gone to the, the basement yet with this. I have not gone to the basement with this yet. Whoa, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've seen this. We've seen all of that already. Basement time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Walk downstairs. Oh, yes. Another miniature Stanley figurine. Yeah. There's some, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini Stan? Mini Stan. Stanley figs. No, it's um, what about Stanlarines? No, yes, mini I think I like that. Mini Another Stanlarine under your belt. I don't. I don't like it. I didn't like it. 
Why can't I? Why? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Oh. All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss this is original. was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Oh, that's not Am original. I crazy? He asked the bucket. Oh, no. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Isn't that strange, Stanley thought? Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. Ah. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Ah. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no ah. good would come from this. Who gone knows now. what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, yeah. which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's I must that find it. That, right? Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Oh, the bucket. Could it truly be? Oh, God, there's so he many buckets. He forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. Uh -huh. None of them were his. None of them uh -huh. were his special bucket. Oh, my God. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. They're everywhere. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. No. It was incredibly painful. No. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> yep. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort what? and security, <laughs> and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through She's town, the talking bucket. and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. <laughs> of course, no he'd buckets? gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mary Elson. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. Heck yes. My life kicks ass. And she <laughs> backflipped all the way to she work. She backflipped? Oh my god! Good on her! Backflipping all the way to work! Alright, so. I think there's like one more ending. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. What? If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. What? Game. No, don't do that to me. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Why can't I go back here still? Is there someone back here? Is there something I can find? Oh, please. Uh -huh. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five no, no, times. No, no, no. Is that I'm, I'm all that you joking. think an achievement is worth? I'm joking. No, I'm no, joking. No, I'm joking. No, no, no. I can't just give these merits away for such no, a effort. No, because this achievement's a huge... five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Stanley clutched there. the bucket tightly to his okay. chest, 
and entered the door on his left. Okay. We've, we've made it through that. Okay. So. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, 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 I know. So. Help, I'm a, I'm a post it? Um. So yeah, the other ending that we haven't gotten Coming with the bucket staircase, standing on is the, bucket the free will upstairs to the boss's office. Actually, you know what? I wonder what would happen if I went to the executive bathroom with the bucket. Oh, I and found it! Back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I can't even remember the one I wanted anymore. I can't remember. All I know is that I don't know if I can... It's one of these... I, I'm trying to remember how to activate that damn thing. Stepping into okay. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned Two, to discover eight, not an indication four, of any five. human life. So, Stanley guessed the correct code do. by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? So the yes. free will ending. This is certainly the most logical explanation. This is the one where we shut off the mind control device. Last time I physically said to turn on the device, I actually made that decision. So now it's time to try and click on the turn off option and see what that leads with the bucket. It seems like adding the bucket to any one of these endings is totally Stanley something Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind Control, Control Facility. Facility. Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. But yeah, I, I think that's the only ending I can think of at the moment. The monitor jumped different. to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office yeah. was being videotaped. Other than the one that I did in the other games. episode that got cut the out, but had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything is going to be all right. Was the bucket my under bucket. the mind control facility's influence as well? Bucket. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want pirate. to do in the first place? These questions I work with a pirate? furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into uh. the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! I, I, I can't read he that, but it says something about a pirate. Tighter. His one friend in the I think entire it says world. Pirate. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Okay, so we're gonna try and turn off the mind control device. But here was the proof the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Okay. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. I think that was the episode they that got cut out, actually. If in you a turn really it on... Way, it gives the you silly made birds. a sassy comment about taking down the system. Off. So let's see with the bucket what happens. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had okay, so it's very similar. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. What? 
Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. What? True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. What? What? Wait, what was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Uh -oh. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. Oh no. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Ah. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth no. of the bucket. Would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Bastards. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. That's that's that. That's the end. So yeah, we've pretty much hit everything that we could get, uh, including the bucket. I think that's all the endings with the all bucket. All of his co-workers were um, gone. What could it mean? But yeah, so I Stanley think decided that's to it. go to the meeting room. So perhaps he had thank you for watching this memory. series. Uh, I'm actually going to end this series right here on that one. Uh, an entire week of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the series, hit the like button down below as well. I got all the Stanley Parable videos uh, that I've done for the channel right in a little playlist by now. So check that out. Give me one second. I'm going to click on this door just to see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to see if they would make a 420 joke or not, but they didn't. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. And also in the comments, tell me what you thought of the Ultra Deluxe Edition. I really enjoyed this. I thought everything that they added to it certainly gives you an excuse to carry a fucking bucket everywhere. That's for damn sure. Uh, I want to know one day how to get all the other buckets, or how all the figurines and stuff like that. I'll probably do that in my own spare time. But thank you for watching this series. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comments down below. And also, if you haven't done so yet, hit the follow button, the subscribe button, whatever it's called on YouTube, so that you can get updates on more videos I do here on YouTube. Until next time, hail to the king.